what's up guys this is praises here today and I bring you a digital painting tutorial on how to get started along with brush settings and all that good stuff to get to know how to digitally paint and so yeah so today I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, your ideas and turn it into something like a canvas or something like that like these I am not a in any way really that great at painting. I just I just started a few weeks ago and I just wanted to start trying it out and this is what I have so far. I mean symmetricality is off and whatnot but I'm still learning. I'm doing like concepts and such like that but so far this is what I have. So getting into more of like the topic it's how to start along with brush brush settings which are really important to know. So for like these, I use basically the same brush. And a lot of people have come to me and like they ask them like what kind of brush to use and this, that, and the other thing. And well, it's not really too difficult to do. So you can basically just start off with like the default brushes. One that looks like this. Uh, you can see that it's not like the spacing is fairly, like the percentage is high. That's why you can see the little bubbles or little jumps throughout the brush stroke. So a way that you could fix that and this is uh, something really simple to learn is that you just go to your brush presets this little brush uh, icon that you click if you don't have it here you can just go up to a window and then I believe it's the brush presets so oh no it's just brush there we go the other one, I always get those two mixed up, but click on that and it should take you right to brush tip shape and you go down to spacing, you can either bring it up make it more spaced out so it'll be like little dots or you could bring it all the way down to be 1% so it's just a little straight line and then this way you won't have the little indentations that it would leave with spacing so go back to brush and so yeah you can have that little uh, change in your brush it'll make it much smoother so that's the first little tip along with size size varies just obviously because you can change the size however you want but uh, yep besides that a lot of people have been asking me like how to get like that little drop off like the uh, the pen pressure is what it's called and no you cannot do this using just your mouse you have to have some type of tablet to use and I have a Wycom Intuos Draw, and it's like $80, but totally worth it, super good, and I've had it for a few weeks now, and I've, I've loved it. It's really, really easy to get in touch with and such, but the difference, you go to Shape Dynamics and Control, and you go to Pen Pressure, so you can see the difference in the shape of the, of the stroke. I bring it down to about 40, sorry if you guys can hear my dad yelling at my dog, but and so you can see like it has more of a thin to thick ratio than just this is just me using like my keyboard much different see not as much thicker than using a pen and a tablet here I'll show you up uh, right next to each other this is pen and this is the just the mouse pad so obvious obvious differences right here such as the rounded ends and since with a pen much easier to have your pen pressure just so it can change and be more dynamic so okay so that's done uh, also since pen pressure is fairly uh, like with like a stylus you need it a couple things that you want to do with, while you have your stylus is click this right here. This is called a. Uh, it's like the, it's basically like the transfer tool. Well, that's what it is, but it like fixes your opacity depending on how hard you push on it. So as you can see, like the harder I push on it, the darker or more bold the color gets. Whereas if I were to push lighter, it would get much thinner. So that is very good to use. It's just with pen, and you can use a transfer. But that also you can do that with your keyboard if you don't have a stylus yet that you can just go over click on transfer it does about the same thing it's just you don't have the uh, 
you don't have the uh, what they call it like more control I should say but still good but not as good as what you could be using with using a, a tablet so so yeah all right so those two are done now let's go into our other subject which would be how to start painting so when it comes to like these ideas I really just started doing studies I studied rocks at first that's why I kinda like I did other studies like here I'll open this really quick the first couple studies that I did I mean they're horrible like look at this this looks like a, a turd from a dinosaur but once you start getting like more of a view of like what things look like it, mu it gets much better like this is my this is my other one that I did this is right before like this was this tree was like the fourth one I ever did but I just did studies and learned how to do lighting and rocks just to make it look more realistic that's what you have to do you have to learn how to do lighting and what things like how to make things three-dimensional very important to know how to do that so picture as in like you're in like cinema 4d and you're modeling something and where like the light would beam off of and where the shadows would be and such so so yeah also another thing I wanted to touch on is painting on just a canvas versus painting using layers so a lot of people like to do this along with like line art pretend like here I'll make like a little face cool a little happy face a lot of people like to do different layers and then paint something like something like this and paint in the lines while a lot of while other artists do just all on the same canvas in my opinion I believe to be layers would be better just for the fact that you can go back and you can adjust without having to really like reset your entire painting whereas this it's fairly difficult to get exactly what you want while painting without messing up and well obviously human error but so yeah that really helps um I'll have like a little brush pack in the description so you guys can use like the brushes that I've been using I have a few I normally just use the the plain circular brush or a soft brush depending on just I don't know whatever I want to use but um, here let's go find that one really quick this is probably my favorite brush it's fairly easy to use and I, I like to use it a lot for like lines and such but the settings on this is just transfer or just like this button you just hit that and it's just let's see what the spacing is really quick it's just nine percent spacing so like there's like a little bit of blocking like in between like the a couple of circles but besides that it really helps me like I said though I'm I'm learning as well so th these uh, tips could change I'll probably be making update videos about what I've done differently and whatnot but besides that I believe those are the best uh, brush settings that I could conjure up as of now and alright this final little tip for you little drawers out there would probably be for references so if you go to like let's say you want to go draw I don't know like a hippo let's go look up hippo find an image on let's say Google or something just to get the colors that has really helped me when it comes I love this picture oh my god it's wonderful it is just with like the color scheme it's always important to have like a palette so you don't have to keep going back and forth with the color palette in the Photoshop system so Oop. okay come on buddy alright there we go so we have that you're gonna open it stick that bad boy right here so how you do this is just find the colors find the darks find the lights find all the stuff that's really important to use 
which would be just like the values. Different values are very important, especially when it comes to making a painting fairly realistic. And then going with a shape. So like when you go for a shape, you want to start with a darker color. Something like that. Just like a, a mutual color. But and then doing highlights and blah, blah, blah. But much easier to work from dark to light. Along with uh, this practice. I would never have been able to do these if I just didn't do studies and have some references to say, like I found a picture of what Deadpool looked like and then I just took colors from him and applied it to the portrait. So, yeah. Along with this, and this just kind of came from my head and this is just a concept and so is this, but references will help you. You will learn how to draw better and you'll learn how to be a better artist just knowing what things look like without having to copy. A lot of people start copying to learn, but that's just, it's not the same. But, yeah, I think that about concludes it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure to leave a like. You guys destroy the ratings. I had no idea I was going to get so much feedback. It was fairly ridiculous. I have no idea. But... I'm close to 300 subscribers, so subscribe and like the video if you guys enjoyed. But I really appreciate the feedback that you guys gave me on the last video. That, that was awesome. But uh, Check the description for the pack. And so have a great day. And soar up, kiddos. Peace.